be your class and baby's your sex. I never met a girl like you ever till we met. A star in the 40s and a forward in the 50s. Got me tripping out like six. This is a lot of creep. This is like Half of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where we're gonna be standing and walking for the next few hundred meters is actually the old city wall. And I'm gonna try some alcohol-free beer. Mm. Whoa. This is actually the birthplace of Albert Einstein. This is the Ulm Minster or Münster. It is the tallest church in the world. Jump from that and then to that, okay? You want to see it? Yeah, okay. We are here in the Bundesland of Baden-Württemberg in the city of Ulm, ready to explore this medieval city that so many of you have recommended for us to come and visit, and it's absolutely a beautiful sunny day here in the springtime. It's known for its half-timbered houses and being the birthplace of Albert Einstein. We're excited to experience some of the Swabian culture here today. One of our first stops here is getting food. You know us, that's our absolutely favorite thing to do when we travel. And what do we have, sis? A crepe, and it's not a small crepe. A big. This is big. What kind did we get? Nutella. Nutella? So this place came highly recommended by actually some of you guys. So if you follow us on Instagram, I ask for your recommendations of what to do here in this amazing city. And this restaurant got brought up a couple times. We're actually going to be going to a different sit-down one, but we knew crepes was a safe bet, something Willa loves, and we wanted to try a little bit of both. Oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doop. What, how do you say oopsie? Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy, that's the saying. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness. So it would be a really fun place to come sit outside. As you can see, it's a beautiful day and a lot of people are taking advantage of it. But I'm not gonna lie, the inside's really cool too. So, oh, she's going at it. <laughs> In the middle. This is a lot of creep. This is like- Half of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I literally wonder if this used like one small bottle of Nutella. <laughs> they did not skim, which makes it awesome. But I can't imagine the calorie count in this thing. <laughs> We're gonna have a sugar high tonight. So behind me is a very famous hotel. It's a half-timbered construction, so that's what makes it really popular. And right across the street is like this little souvenir shop, and we're seeing Albert Einstein. And if you look closely, they actually have like a string with a key hanging on it. You can see how far this side of the house is like leaning over. It does look like part of it was the way that it was built, but I'm sure being built in the 1500s, it is definitely leaning over time. Willa, who is here with us? We've got my dad here. He came all the way from the States to be here and meet Noah, so we're really excited hey, about that. Oh, oh. Hey, everyone. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day, like we've mentioned, I think three times now. It looks like there's a lot of people along the Dana River enjoying the beautiful sunshine, having picnics, laying out on the blankets, and then there's like steps over there too. So. Really fun area, a nice walking and biking path I think along the way too. And probably worth mentioning that where we're gonna be standing and walking for the next few hundred meters is actually the old city wall, so really fun. Let me see the little squish. She's hiding. So this tower behind me is called the Metzger Term, and a cool fact about this building is that it's actually leaning. Due to the marshy grounds, the tower leans two meters to the northwest, which is slightly less than the leaning tower of Pisa. Cool fact for yep. you. And this amazing building behind me is the Rot House. Really cool. Now we're taking a little pit stop because baby girl is hungry and I'm her food source. Most times when I'm nursing, I tend to have my phone out, 
let's be honest, oftentimes I'm on social media, but I've been trying to be a little more conscious. And lately I've been loving the app Readly, where I've been looking at a lot of National Geographic magazines. Kid you not, this is where I find a lot of inspiration for our travels. Just yesterday I was looking at the 2023 Best Places to Travel magazine and I saw some places in Greece that I've never heard of before. Tanner and I have been talking about going back to Greece, so that was really fun to see. Also it was awesome because I saw places in Austria and Switzerland. Hint hint on Switzerland because we may or may not be headed there, so keep an eye out for that next video. Readly is a digital magazine subscription service that grants users unlimited access to over 6,000 national and international titles for only €11.99 a month. Essentially, it's like Spotify for magazines and newspapers. Readly is super easy to navigate. I think the app is designed really well. So once you sign up, you can customize your profile by clicking on a couple different things that interest you. For me, it was like travel and food. Once I did that, it automatically brought up magazines that would interest me. Something I really like about the Readly app is that I can send my recommendations that I see to Tanner or anyone I want to. He can look at it and we can both have access to it. I also really like that everything is online. So it's awesome that it's paperless. All I need is my phone, which with a little newborn baby, we already have enough stuff. And so it's super nice that I don't have to carry anything with me. Another thing I really liked is that you could change the background from white or to like a night setting. You can zoom in, make the font big, small. It's just a great app and it was designed very well. Click the link in our description box below to get one month for 99 cents. The best part about it too is that if you're not satisfied with it, you can cancel anytime, no problem. <laughs> That's considered alcohol free. Well, there is alcohol. It's just, well, yeah, less than half of a percent. They can't fully roll out that there's no alcohol in it. I'm doing something I should have done a long time ago living here in Germany, and I'm going to try some alcohol free beer. This is actually kind of big because I've never tried beer at all. Never tried alcohol free beer. It's going to be an experience. That was a swig. It's actually not bad. That's not like anything like what I remember. Does it taste like lemon lime? It's not really flavorful of any way, shape, or form. It has some lemon flavor, right? Yeah. Oh, sure. It's some. It's just like it's subtle. Mine is a lot lemon. Yeah, that's way stronger. Well, as our older daughter, Mug's the youngest daughter. Hey, Willa. She said hi. Was she saying hi? Hello. There's a lot of love going on. Willa really is obsessed with her, which is a good thing. Here we go. Ready? Okay. I can't hurt it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. First, it's smells not, it's like... It's not wine. Okay, come on. <laughs> but it's not a super strong smell. It smells good though. I get almost like an apple -y lemon. Yeah, it's good. It really doesn't have like a t a ton of flavor. My juice is lemony. I do get the lemon taste, but it is subtle. It's carbonated, but it's not like overpowering, too bubbly. The aftertaste is like a little bitter for me. Like I would say a little bit, but it's not too bad. What do you think? Good daddy big smiles. <laughs> So in the end, it's good. I'm a fan, but I would say I'd probably still choose water. Awesome, so we're about ready to dive into our Swabian dish here that we got. We got the grandma's plate here, and it looks like it has a lot of great things that we're gonna try. The first ones are down here. These are the maltashen, which actually translates to feed bag. Kind of a hilarious like thought to think about. We're eating a feed bag. So basically, it is like dumplings. These are stuffed with minced beef, other vegetables, and spices, and they are a specialty to this region. And then it looks like we have some of the roasted vegetables on top here with a mushroom sauce that looks delicious. These are two like little pork chops wrapped in bacon. They actually look and smell delicious. Nice big black pepper flakes on top. We have some caramelized onions on top of the Kaiserspätzle and just a few other green salad toppings here. So overall, a very delicious, diverse plate that we have here. All right, I'm gonna first open up the maltasha while they're nice and hot. So this looks like it's like dipped in that mushroom gravy. So I'm gonna cut it open to see a little bit better the texture inside. Really nice texture of that dumpling. It's not like that overpowering, but it's like a really good like flavor. You can definitely tell that you can definitely like taste like the different spices inside there. Reading up a little bit more, typically these have like spinach and breadcrumbs mixed in with the minced meat and the other herbs and spices. So honestly, really fun and quite thick. You'll see different variations. The ones that we saw online were actually looked more like ravioli squares. Next, we have the little pork filet here wrapped in bacon. That bacon is giving off a really good aroma. Mmm. Whoa. 
That was much better than I was expecting. I'm gonna give the queso spetzla a try here. We have tried queso spetzla in several different places, but the one that we love absolutely the most is near Neuschenstein Castle. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is like so divine. But we were kind of let down the last time that we had Kaiser Spetzla because we were in Innsbruck and I think it was because it was a fairly touristy restaurant. Although it had really great recommendations, the Kaiser Spetzla just didn't meet the par that we were expected to have. So we're really looking forward to this one and hopefully it meets up. It's not the best, but it's definitely better than the ones we had in Innsbruck last time. And I think I was looking forward to having some of like the crispy fried onions rather than these that are like sauteed, but still a nice savory dish though. The restaurant that we ate at tonight was really crowded by the time that we left. We were told by so many people on Instagram that this is a place we needed to come and online they had a lot of great reviews. The burger that my father-in-law actually got was really tasty and it was definitely fun to try the maltasha and the different types of meat and vegetables that we had there tonight. If you do decide to go there while visiting Ulm, definitely Definitely make a reservation and now for probably the most iconic place to see here in Ulm. Well, and it was perfect timing because we got here about five minutes before it closed. The guy's literally closing the gates behind us. This is the Ulm Minster or Münster, and it is absolutely breathtaking, beautiful. It's just, every time we go into a church over here in Europe, it's really incredible to see like the stained glass windows and how tall the walls are. A fun fact about the church is that at one point in the late 1800s, it used to be the tallest building in the world. But of course, that is no longer the case. But from what we read up on, it is the tallest church in the world. Definitely a top attraction here. It's incredible. It's beautiful. We've been to quite a few churches around around Europe and this one is definitely really really tall. You're silly. <laughs> Can you push it with me? Can I push it with you? How's this gonna work? Let's push it together. Well we are getting ready to finish up our time here in Ulm and honestly one of the major differences that we've noticed here is that this local Riva is open until midnight. Which if you know from some of our other past videos, that's one thing that we've talked about, kind of like one of those culture shocks in Germany, is that most of the supermarkets that are by us close at like 7 or 8 p.m. on like Saturday night. Which makes it difficult because then we have to like plan a little bit more in advance. But here in Ulm, the bigger city, this is open until midnight and I think it's actually open seven days a week. So because it's Sunday tomorrow, we're grabbing a few snacks and a few things for breakfast for tomorrow and for Monday morning. And we are actually headed on our way to Switzerland to go and see the mountains again. We are definitely mountain people and this is gonna be like the third time to the area that we're gonna be visiting. And so we're really looking forward to going to the mountains and hoping that we can get a little bit of weather. It's looking like it's supposed to be quite rainy, so crossing fingers here that it's not that bad. Did you have fun in the city? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, we understand why so many of you love coming to the city. I will show you something about. What are you gonna show them? I can jump from that and then to this. Wow. Jump from that and then to that, okay? You want to see it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Wow. Mommy, you want to try that with me? Oh, I'll let you just try it. Why? Why? Oh my gosh, well it's the best. That's her confidence spot. Oh, what is it? That's her confidence spot. That's her confidence spot. She's working on being brave with her confidence spot. That's awesome. Well, that's a wrap on this video. We understand why so many of you love coming to the city. It really is so picturesque. It's cute. We particularly loved walking by the river on the city wall and just seeing all the half-timbered buildings. The church was good. The church was awesome, although we were bummed we couldn't go up to the top, huh? Mm -hmm. It would have been really cool. We've heard that you can see the Alps from the top of it, so that would be really cool. From what we saw online, it looks like it's five euros per adult to go up to the top. Yeah, it was such a fun day. I like the slide shoes. I love you. I love you too. We'll put below where we parked because honestly, the parking garage was the perfect spot. Once we parked, we were like, wow, this seems fancy. And then we went up the elevator and we're like, oh my gosh, we're like right in the center of it. So right across the street was the rat house and then literally across the street was this big church. So perfect location. There's something fun going on, let's go see. What is it? It's a flash mob dance party. Oh, do you like Michael? I wanna kiss 
And admits everything. <laughs> Somehow sleeping. She was awake for a minute ago, but sleeping through it all. You wanna say thanks for being here? Thanks for being here. Be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button. Yeah, bye bye. We'll see you in the next video. Be your class and baby's your sin. I never met a girl like you ever till we met. A star in the forest and a forward in the pit.